What's going on everybody? I'm back with another How Risk Coin Buster video for you all today. And in today's video we're going to be doing a $15 million buy-in that gave us 300 quarters. Super, super expensive game today, so wish me good luck. Hopefully we can walk out of here with a brand new record win. That'd be incredible. They got this thing jam-packed full today. There's like two great big old towers of $5,000 chips on the pusher. There was a humongous tower of $1,000 chips with some gold and a $100 stack of cash on top of it, but we done got that to go. They got a ginormous like, pyramid of $10,000 chips with quarters on top of it. They got three quarter pyramids up front. That one right there in the center. Nice, we got it. And oh my goodness, did we just get the $50 chip already? Yeah, I'm pretty sure there was a $50 chip behind that pyramid. Nice. Yeah, that is absolutely phenomenal. So, uh, that $50 chip, if you don't know what that's for, I would get to cash it in. They'll take everything that's falling down the gutters and they'll put that back into my game later on. So... Oh my goodness! Wow! Oh my goodness, this is doing amazing! Wow, I was not expecting all that stuff to fall down that quick. And check that out, there's a red earbud. So that red earbud, if I win that, I get to cash that in. They'll take all the stuff that's on the blue shelves and they'll put it into the play field somewhere. So that right there was the last of our quarters. Let's go see how much money we've made and we'll get right back to pushing. Oh yeah, nice. Check this out. So we got the red earbud and the $50 chip. So I'll cash in that red earbud uh, here in a few minutes. Uh, first, I would like to try to win that massive tower on the pusher and the rest of the gold bars and the chips out of here first. Now, there's still a lot left in there to win. Oh nice, a bunch of gold fell over on the right. Nice, that gave us a spectacular push right there. This is doing super, super good. Nice, we got that tower of $5,000 chips. Wow, that was a lot of money. My goodness, this is doing amazing. I mean, keep in mind we have to make at least $15 million back to break even, so. Hopefully we can manage that. Hopefully we can make way more than $15 million today. And check that out, they also got some dice in there. You see those on the golden wall? Some over there on that right hand side also. So them white dice, if we win those, we get to roll them at the end of the game. Uh, whatever they land on, my winnings will multiply by those numbers. And the gold dice, we get to roll them at the end of the game, whatever they land on, the gold bars will multiply by those numbers. So, yeah, those dice are super, super valuable. They can turn little money into humongous, crazy amounts of money. So pretty much, say I have won uh, $10 million in chips at the end of the game, right? And say uh, the white dice total up to 10, end up multiplying my winnings by 10. 10 times $10 million in chips, that would mean we have won $100 million. So yeah, those dice are super, super valuable. They're very important to win, especially on a buy-in this expensive. Because there may not be 15 million in chips in there today. It'd be nice if there was. Then we could win the dice on top of that. Multiply like 15 million in chips. And there's two ginormous uh, money mystery bags in there on top of those stacks of $100 bills. And you see those brown chips right there? Those are $25,000 chips. And those add up super, super fast. So I'd say each one of those towers, the $25,000 chips, is possibly maybe like one and a half million. So that's like three million just in $25,000 chips. And we got that uh, red earbud and the $50 chip so far. Alright, well I'll tell you what, this stack of $100 bills, it's stuck against the glass. So I think we should go ahead and call them back here and uh, see if they'll rearrange it. So let's call them back here, we'll get right back to pushing. Alrighty, a and coin busher has returned. Let's get right back to pushing. So I called the staff back here and they rearranged that stack of $100 bills uh, that was stuck against the glass. Usually if the 
something gets stuck against the glass, all you got to do is call the staff back here and they'll like rearrange it. Or sometimes they'll count it as they win. And I mean, they put that stack of $100 bills in a much better spot. It's right there in the center. So that should fall down within the next couple of seconds. And if I'm not mistaken, that stack of cash was long ways and it's pretty much impossible for it to fall down if it's long ways like that. Oh no, just drop some quarters on the ground. We'll pick those up here shortly. All right, well it looks like there's only a one ounce gold bar left in there to win, so let's get that out of there and we'll be set. Oh yeah, it's super, super close. Come on, nice push. Nice, we got that gold bar, so let's see what the last couple quarters does. Might get another push out of it. Yes, we did. Nice. All right, so uh, let's go ahead and cash in that red earbud, and we'll get right back to pushing. Alrighty, Andy Coinbusher has her turn. Let's get right back to pushing. So I cashed in that red earbud. They took all the towers and the gold and the dice and the mystery bags that was on the blue shelves. They put them all into the play field. So as you can see, the two mystery bags are right there in the center. Those are in super, super good spots. And they put all the white dice and the gold dice on top of this great big old golden tower in the center. Oh my goodness. Wow, we already got one of those uh, money mystery bags to go. So I'll check out that mystery bag here shortly. Hopefully it's loaded up really, really nice today. Oh yeah, nice. There goes a couple more towers. Oh yeah, that mystery bag on the left, it's about to go. Same thing for all those $25,000 chips. Well, there's two towers on the push that are still standing. Those are $10,000 chip towers. Come on, nice push. Give me something. Oh, yeah. That's the push we need to drop there. This is doing exceptional. Making a fortune today, that's for sure. All right, had to get that loot chute emptied out. It's getting really, really full. That mystery bag was taking up a lot of space. Yeah, I mean, that... Probably means that there's something super, super massive inside of that mystery bag. Same thing for that one right there. It seems like it's stuck against the glass. So anyway, we could really, really use a nice profit on this game today. I played two other games before this one. The first game we didn't do so well, but the second game actually went decent. I think it was like a break-even game. Yeah, it was pretty close to a break-even game anyway. Anyhow, we're still down quite a bit of money at the moment because on that first game, yeah, I lost a whole bunch of money. As of right now, I think for the day, I am down, I believe it was a little under, let's see, I'm trying to remember. I play so many of these games, it's just hard to keep track of each and every one of them. I'm going to say it was $8 million, maybe like $7.9 million. Maybe a little under that or something. So let's just say we need to make eight million in profit on this game right here to break even for the day, which we should be able to do pretty easily. If we can win all these dice out of here and stuff. There's a bunch of stuff stuck against the glass up front. Well, maybe all that stuff being stuck is a good thing because that will help this tower on the corner get moving. Yeah, towers on the corners take a pretty good while to go, so. Yeah, I mean, it's because of those side slots on the left and the right-hand side. Because the quarters, if there's any weight or pressure uh, built up on the corners, the quarters are just going to take the easiest route, or the easiest path of travel. That means the quarters would fall down the gutters on the left and the right-hand side. So, but yeah, stacking up the quarters super, super high using the skill stop and the rapid-fire technique really really helps out tremendously especially when getting the towers on the corners so all right so that right there was pretty much the last of our quarters pretty much got that right hand side and the center all cleared out now we just got to get all that stuff on the left here i think that mystery bag is the problem there's something humongous in there and it's like stuck against the glass so anyhow uh, let's go round up the quarters real quick and we'll get right back to pushing Alrighty, i'm back so before we get back to pushing i would like to go ahead and open up this massive money mystery bag right here 
So let's go ahead and check it out, see if there's anything super, super nice and valuable in there. It feels like it's loaded up really, really well. So let's see what we got. Oh my goodness, wow, check this out. We got a whole bunch of dice. Let's count these up real quick. Let's see, we got five more white dice. That is amazing. And we got the Mr. Money Keychain. This could be worth a dollar all the way up to one billion dollars. That is super, super exciting right there. I'll ask them what that's worth later on. And uh, we got two of the $1 chips. Each one of those is worth 500 free quarters. And we got a $5 chip. Not really sure why we got another $5 chip after we've done and got the red earbud and won all the stuff off of the blue shelves. So I will ask them about that later on. Might be something new, you never know. So anyhow, we also got this $10 chip. So this right here is worth one free tower. I get to cash this in, they'll let me spin a wheel. And that wheel has all these different types of chip values on there. And whatever it lands on, it's what type of brand new tower they'll build somewhere in there. So that is not bad, not bad at all. That mystery bag was loaded up fantastically well. So anyhow, let's get right back to pushing. I'm going to push on this left-hand side for a little bit. Try to get this mystery bag and all those $25,000 chips to get going. There's also another white dice beside of that tower, so I'd really, really like to win that. And if that uh, Mr. Bag doesn't fall down on this round right here, I will just go ahead and uh, call them back here and see if they'll like rearrange it or something. Because I'd like to win all that out of there before I cash in the $10 chip. So we pretty much won all the special chips today. We got the $1 chips, the $5 chip, and the red earbud. And we got the $50 chip and stuff, so been a pretty successful game so far today yeah here lately they've only been putting like one or two special chips in there usually it'll be the five dollar chip and the one dollar chips and it would either be the ten dollar chip or the fifty dollar chip they don't usually put both of those in there together anymore well actually i think they did that yesterday they put all the special chips in there well you know something that i have not seen in a very long time I have not seen the 2550 chip. I don't know if they discontinued that or something. But I mean, that was a super, super special chip. I mean, it was a very, very difficult game to play whenever they would have the towers on the blue shelves there. And we'd have to try to trick shot them into the play field. And the majority of the time, you couldn't even get them to go. I mean, you could barely get them to move. So, I mean, maybe it was for the best if they discontinued that. I mean, the first couple times I won that, I was able to trick shot like a tower into the play field. And the towers had mystery bags on top of them. And they said, at minimum, there was at least eight white dots in the mystery bags. And I got like one of those towers to go into the play field. I think we ended up winning like 12 white dots in that one mystery bag. So... I mean, if you're lucky enough to get the towers to trick shot into the play field, you can definitely make so many more millions of dollars out of those uh, bonus towers and mystery bags. This is extremely difficult to do. I was playing for about three or four hours at a time trying to trick shot the towers. And plus, you all really didn't seem to like that 25-50 chip. I mean, some of y'all commented in the comments and said uh, you like the 25-50 chip, and a lot of people said they despise it and they hate it, so, I mean, I don't know. They may have discontinued it. That's what it looks like to me, because I haven't seen that chip in there in like probably two weeks now. Well, it looks like we got that white dice to go on the left-hand side, but that mystery bag, it's just stuck in there for some reason. So, we're getting pretty low on quarters. We barely have any quarters left in the basket, so... These quarters right here don't get the mystery bag and stuff. I'll just call them back here and see if they'll like move it or rearrange it or something. Alright, let's see what that does. That was the last of them. Come on, big push. Alright, let's call them back here real quick and we'll get right back to it. Alrighty, we're back. Let's get right back to pushing. 
so I called them back here and they rearranged that mister bag that was stuck on the left hand side and all those chips and that dice that was stuck in there uh, they went ahead and counted that as a win thank goodness and uh, they even rearranged that tower a thousand dollar chip so that was super super nice of them I gave that employee a five thousand dollar chip I always treat the employees real nice especially if they're very helpful when it comes to the machine and like resetting the machine and stuff I'll always give them pretty good money Anyway, that Mr. Bag, it's in a really nice spot. It's right there in the center, so hopefully we can get it to go. Oh yeah, another push or two and we'll get it. It's already like all the way across the plate field. Tower, a thousand dollar chips is pretty close. Oh, so anyway, I asked them what the five dollar chip, the extra five dollar chip was worth, or what it meant in today's game. Uh, they said I would need it later on whenever I cash in the fifty dollar chip, because a lot of times, They'll put like mystery bags or something on the blue shelves and they'll usually put a red earbud or a $5 chip in there whenever I cash in the $5 chip, I mean the $50 chip. And uh, I'll get to cash that in, they'll take the mystery bags and they'll put them into the play field. So I guess they went ahead and let us win the $5 chip early today. I don't know, it's what it seems like to me. And also, I asked them what the Mystery Money keychain was worth. They said it was worth half a million dollars today, so that is amazing. And I've seen somebody down in the comments asking if the dice multiply the money amount of that Mystery Money keychain. Yes, it does. The dice multiply the money keychain value also. Multiplies the chips, the cash, and the... Mr. Money Keychain value, all three of those, so. Anyhow, we got it all cleared out of there, that is amazing. So let's go ahead and open up that other Mr. Bag, see if there's anything nice and valuable in there. All right, here it is. So let's go ahead and check it out, see if there's anything super, super valuable in there. Well, yeah, it does feel super, super heavy, so let's see. Check it out and see what we got. Oh my goodness, wow, check this out. Oh my goodness, we got the 2550 chip. I was just talking about that. So it looks like they did not discontinue that after all. So we get to cash this in at the very end of the game. And if you don't know what it's for, they'll put like two bonus towers on the edge of the blue shelves there. And we have to stack up the quarters really, really high back there. And if we're lucky, we might get one to fall into the play field. It's really the only way we can win them towers. And we also got a whole bunch of $25,000 chips. Let's see, how many of them did we get? 200 grand, 300 grand, 400 grand in $25,000 chips. That is spectacular. And we got another $1 chip, so that's worth another 500 free quarters. So that makes three of those that we've won now. And uh, we got three more of the gold dice. So that is spectacular. That Mr. Bag was loaded up insanely well. So I tell you what, let's go ahead and cash in the $1 chips and that $10 chip, and we'll get right back to pushing. Alrighty, a and Coin Brusher has returned. Let's get right back to pushing. So I cashed in the $10 chip and all three of those $1 chips. They gave us an extra 1,500 quarters. So I'd say that put us up to around, oh goodness, a little over 3,400 quarters. So not as much as we'd usually have, but, uh, I mean, that's still a tremendous amount of quarters. Hopefully there's a lot of quarters in the $50 chip bonus game because I'd like to have a lot of quarters to try to win those bonus towers whenever we cash in the $25.50 chip. So anyway, we also cashed in the $10 chip, got to spin that wheel, and today it landed on $10,000 chips. You can see they built like two humongously tall towers the $10,000 chips in there. Oh no, well we lost a whole bunch of it to the blue shelf on the right. So that $50 chip today, that comes with a free reset. So that means that uh, they put all those $10,000 chips back into the play field for free, which is amazing. So not really worried about that. Let's just continue playing. Let's just move on, try to get this great big old tower right here. So how's everybody's day going so far? Hope y'all are doing well and having an awesome day today. Hope everybody's staying warm. It's pretty cold outside where I'm at today.
Oh yeah, I was a nice push shot there, starting to get a whole bunch of ten thousand dollar tips. And anyhow, if this is your first time watching my channel and you're enjoying this video so far, do me a gigantic favor. Hit that subscribe button, hit the like button, and turn on the bell icon. That way you get notified for whenever I post brand new videos. Would help out tremendously. We're on the road to 150,000 subscribers. My goal is to get there by the end of this year. That has been my goal for a very long time now. I was really, really wanting to hit 150,000 subscribers by the end of 2023. Well, or January the 1st, 2024, I'd like to have 150,000 subscribers. So, we still need like a little over 13,000 people to hit that subscribe button. So, if you're new around here, please consider hitting that subscribe button. And it would help me out tremendously, but then again, it would also help you all out tremendously. It would make it a lot easier for you all to keep up with future content. And I post videos seven days a week, and you're not gonna wanna miss out on these outstanding videos. Yeah, my videos, probably about on average, my videos run about 35 minutes long each day, so. Now there's lots of towers crashing down, large buy-ins, super, super entertaining games, so. If you wanna follow along on this journey with me, uh, hit that subscribe button. All right, well that right there was the last of our quarters. I probably put about 2,000 quarters in there. So I'm not gonna waste like a lot of quarters trying to win that last ten thousand dollar chip so i think our best bet for now is to go ahead and cash in that fifty dollar chip so let's do that and we'll get right back to pushing Alrighty, we're back let's get right back to pushing so i cashed in that fifty dollar chip uh, they took everything that had fallen down in their loot box today and they put it all back into the play field looks like there's a ginormous basket of quarters on top of that great big old tower on the pusher all those chips back there on the moving platform, those are five and ten thousand dollar chips, it looks like, from what I can see anyway. And there's like two twenty-five thousand dollar chip towers with a whole bunch of gold on top of that. There's two one thousand dollar chip towers on the corners. So I'd say once we get that basket to go, typically it would get stuck against the glass up here. And uh, once that basket gets stuck against the glass. It'll help these towers on the corners move. Because the quarters will have no choice but to push towards the sides. Yeah, you'll see what I'm talking about here in just a second. If the basket falls the way I want it to. Oh my goodness, well the tower $1,000 chips fell backwards. And we lost a whole bunch of $1,000 chips to the blue shelf. So that $5 chip that we won earlier, I'll get to cash that in. And uh, they'll take that ginormous brown mystery bag. They'll put that into the play field. And they'll take all those thousand dollar chips and put those back in there also. But I'd like to try to win all the towers first. Just to be 100% positive we're not going to lose anything else. Because it'd be silly to cash in the five dollar chip. Then end up losing a whole bunch of twenty-five thousand dollar chips to the blue shell for example. Then that's when it would cost a hundred grand to have them put it back into the play field. And that 2550 chip, that does not come with a free reset. We have to have the whole machine cleared out before we cash that in, or else they will just void everything that's in there. They'll just take it out of the machine and just put the two bonus towers in there. So we need to be sure we have it all cleared out of there before we decide to cash in the 2550 chip. I'm pretty excited to play that 2550 chip bonus game. Like I said, I haven't seen it in there in a couple of days, maybe a couple of weeks. So, hopefully we can trick shot the towers into the play field today. It's extremely difficult to do. You'll realize that the first like minute or two of playing it. It normally takes a long time. Who knows, we might get lucky and trick shot it into the play field instantly. You never know. Oh yeah, the tower on the pusher, it's going. Alright, well that right there was the last of the quarters that I had in the basket, so... 
Yeah, all those quarters that are in that basket back there, those are the quarters that had fallen down in the gutters. Oh my goodness. Towers are going on the right, or the gold did anyway. All right, so let's go round up the quarters real quick. We'll get right back to pushing. All righty, I'm back. Let's get right back to it. And we could really, really use a bunch of quarters. We barely have any left. Now we have a whole bunch of them. Nice. Wow, we got that gigantic basket to go. All right, let's just rapid fire the rest of these quarters in here. Then we'll see what we've won. Oh yeah, you see what I'm saying? Nice, the towers on the right side are going. Now this rapid fire technique is where it's at, I'm telling you. If you can get enough quarters in there, it honestly might be better than the skill stop technique. Because you're pretty much doing the same thing. You're stacking up the quarters really, really high. The skill stop technique just takes a lot longer. That's the only uh, problem with using it. But anyhow, that right there was that whole entire basket of quarters. So let's go see how much money we've won. And we'll get right back to pushing. Alrighty, a and Point Busher has her turn. Let's get right back to pushing. So let's try one more round. Try to win that tower over there on the right hand side. And all those chips out of there. And if we don't get them, I will go ahead and call them back here. And cash in the $5 chip. So stay tuned for that. They'll put that brown mystery bag into the playing field somewhere and uh they'll take all those thousand dollar chips that we lost they'll put those back in there somewhere also and they'll take that basket out of there for me i would assume they just dump the rest of those quarters somewhere in the play field or maybe back there on the pressure that's normally what they would do because there's no possible way one of those baskets could fit down in the loot chute there they have to take it out and have no choice So anyway, take a guess down in the comments section and let me know what you think might be inside of that gigantic brown mystery bag. Hopefully it's something super, super nice and valuable. Hoping it's a whole bunch of dice. Some $25,000 chips would be pretty sweet also. Maybe some bounty chips. We haven't won any bounty chips in the past couple days. So it'd be nice to get some of those. We got about five of them saved up at the moment. And for the ones who don't know, each bounty chip is worth 500 free quarters on any game I choose to play. So, yeah, those are super, super valuable. I like to save the bounty chips for the games that look like they're going to be pretty difficult to win. Like the ones where there's not that many quarters in there. A lot of times there won't be any quarter pyramids or quarter towers in there at all. And it's pretty difficult to win. Pretty difficult to get it going. And uh, once you've done got most of the quarters out of there, you pretty much just keep keep on recycling the same quarters. And then if you play long enough, the gutters on the left and the right will eat up all the quarters eventually. So you'll just get less and less back each time. So yeah, I just use the bounty chips on the games where there's not a lot of quarters in there. Well, I'd like to get this tower over here on the right hand side to get going super super close now we've probably got about I'd say a hundred quarters left or less probably like 80 quarters to be exact we are getting tons of quarters back though I can tell you that getting a lot more than what we're putting in oh yeah look at how good that right hand side is pushing at the moment making out like a bandit today All right, a couple quarters left. Let's get them in there. Let's push on that right-hand side. Hopefully, we can at least get that gold bar that's over there. Yeah, and the gold bars, those are worth a tremendous amount of money at the moment. I think they went up to like $2,020 an ounce at the moment. So, I mean, that's what the spot price of gold was worth yesterday. If somebody could let me know the spot price of one-ounce gold bar down in the comments section, I would highly appreciate that. So that right there was the last of our quarters. Let's go ahead and cash in that $5 chip and we'll get right back to pushing. Alrighty, a and Coin Pusher has her turn. Let's get right back to pushing. So I cashed in that $5 chip. They took all those $1,000 chips that we lost to the blue shelf. They put those back into the playing field right there in the center. 
and they took that John Norma Brown Mystery Bag and they put it back there on the pusher. So that is a super, super good spot for it. Hopefully it don't get stuck against the glass or nothing like that. I mean, even if it did, they'd probably rearrange it for free. But anyhow, um, I'm about to get those $2,000 chip towers up front. Oh yeah, this one right here is severely close. Come on, big push. Nice, we got it. Fell straight into the payout chute. That was excellent. This has been a magnificent game today. I definitely think we're going to make way more than $15 million back today. So anyhow, I'm just trying to play like normal, trying to win as many quarters back as possible. That way we have plenty of quarters to play the 25-50 chip bonus game, because it can take like three or four or five thousand quarters to trick shot them towers, so just trying to win as many quarters back as possible. Try not to stack too many up on top of each other. Yeah, I know some of the coin pressure machines have this divider back there. It's this piece of plexiglass and uh, it will like level out the pusher back there like drag the quarters back that are stacked up and it only allows the quarters to be like one layer each back there so uh, it'd be nice if this machine had that yeah you'd probably get like five or ten waves out of 50 quarters or more it would just continue to push I can only imagine how many waves you'd get out of a thousand quarters. It'd be like infinite. It would probably last like five or ten minutes. Nothing but waves. So anyhow, uh, we got that mystery bag out of there. So let's check that out real quick. Then we'll cash in the 2550 chip. All right, here's that mystery bag. So let's go ahead and open it up. See if it has anything super, super valuable in there. Feels like it's pretty heavy. So let's see what we get. Hope I don't drop none of this. All right, let's see what we got. So we got some Bitcoins, so each Bitcoin is worth one entry into the free $100,000 buy-in giveaway. So we got four of those, so let's set those down real quick. And we also got 40 grand in five and $10,000 chips, three ounces of gold, and two more white dice. That is absolutely phenomenal. That mystery bag was loaded up fantastically well. So I don't think somebody could have lost that to the side slots well definitely not the side slots but if you didn't know this there's this little opening area like right up above the payout chute and if it gets too full it's big enough for a mystery bag to fit down in there but a lot of times the staff will put like the special items like the dice in the mystery bags and they'll put those like in the $50 chip bonus game just to prevent them from getting lost again so anyway let's go ahead and cash in the 2550 chip and we'll get right back to pushing alrighty we're back let's get right back to pushing so I cashed in that 2550 chip uh, they put two bonus towers on there and a sky blue mystery bag on the right tower and a pink mystery bag on the left tower and they said if we can somehow trick shot these towers into the play field we're guaranteed to win hundreds up on hundreds of millions of dollars today might even be close to a billion dollar win if we can mine all the stuff that we've already won today. So they said at minimum there is eight white dice in those mystery bags. So let's try the rapid fire technique. I don't think I've tried the rapid fire technique on the 2550 chip bonus game. So we'll see how it goes. Yeah, hopefully we can get these towers today. All right, so that right there was a whole entire basket of quarters. Oh my goodness, well the one on the left, it looks like it's dead zoned, unfortunately. Yeah, the quarters are pushing it further onto the blue shelf. And I'll try to edit out like the boring parts where it's just quarters falling down. Because I know a lot of people dislike this 25-50 chip bonus game, so... Anyway, hopefully we can get the tower on the right side though. Well, that one's doing the exact same thing. The quarters are pushing it. Yeah, I think that one is dead zoned also, unfortunately. I mean, either way, if we don't win these Mr. Bags out of here, they said I could open them up at the very end of the game to see what I missed out on, and I'll show you all also. But yeah, like I was saying earlier, this 2550 chip is very, very difficult game to win on, so... Yeah, I can't even remember how I was able to trick shot the towers in there the first couple times I won the 2550 chip. And I know I did win hundreds of millions of dollars 
on both of those days because there was plenty of the white dots in the mystery bags. Somebody down in the comments pointed out something. They said that the towers are more difficult to win now that they started putting the two gold bars instead of one gold bar at the base of those towers. So, really, really hoping we can get that one on the ride. I think it still has the potential to go. Can't really tell, so. Anyhow, I'll probably play off camera for a little bit and try to get it to go, and if we somehow get it to move, I'll just start recording again. Well, that right there was the last of our quarters, so let's see what it does. Come on, big push. All right, so let's play off camera for a little bit, and I'll give y'all an update on the towers. Alrighty, I'm back. So I've been playing off camera for about 50 minutes now, I guess, trying to get those towers to move, and the quarters have just pushed the towers further onto the blue shelf. So I don't think we're gonna be able to win any of these towers today, unfortunately. And anyhow, I went ahead and called them back here and they got these two mystery bags out for me. So let's go ahead and open them up, see what we missed out on. Hopefully it's not that much. All right, well, there's definitely some dice in the sky blue mystery bag, so let's see. Well, it looks like we missed out on eight of the white dice on that mystery bag. And just so you know, I'll have to give them the dice and the mystery bags back. I'm not allowed to keep any of this. All right, so now let's move on to the pink one. See if there's anything in this one. Oh no, well I dropped something. All right, so yeah, well we dropped one of the dice, so I think there was eight white dice in the pink one also. So in total we missed out on 16 of the white dice. Yeah, that would have probably been our billion dollar win right there, but it is what it is. You can't win all the towers. And just so you know, I cannot pay an extra 100 grand to have them put them towers into the play field. So, anyhow, uh, let's go ahead and call them back here. I think we have won 16 dice in total. We got 10 of the white dice and 6 of the gold dice. They will put all 16 of them dice back there on the moving platform. And we have to roll them on down to that lower level. Whatever they all land on, we get to multiply our winnings and our gold by those numbers. So let's call him over here and we'll get right back to pushing. Alrighty, AMB coin pusher has returned. Let's get right back to pushing. So I called him over here. They put all 16 of them dice back there on the pusher. So let's roll them on down to that lower shelf. Hopefully they all land on some fantastic numbers today. They're doing excellent so far. Well, right as I said that, the dice on the right landed on a one. Oh no, two of the dice landed on one. So the ones won't count at all. We went on everything from two to six, but we can keep on pushing to try to flip the dice over to something else. So I tell you what, let's try to push on this right hand side for a minute. See if we can't flip that one over to something else. Alright, well we're definitely going to have to call it quits right there, because if any of them dice fall over the edge or down the gutters, we'd lose them. I mean, it doesn't really matter for that one. Well, let's see, let's try to put a couple quarters over there on the far right hand side. Try to get that dice to fall down in the gutter. That way somebody else could win it. Alright, one more push, I think, and that dice will fall down the gutter. Alright, that'll probably push it on down to the gutter. Nice. There we go. So at least somebody else will get to win that dice whenever they win the $50 chip. So anyhow, that is not bad. Not bad at all. All them dice landed on some pretty good numbers. So I'm going to go ahead and count everything up. Multiply our winnings in their gold ball that right there. And I will let y'all know how much money we've made from a $15 million buy-in. Be right back. You all are not going to believe how much money I've won today. This is absolutely incredible. I ended up winning $12,430,000. That is the chips, the cash, and the mystery money keychain all combined. And all the white dice combined ended up multiplying my winnings by 32. And in total, I ended up winning 397 million seven hundred and sixty thousand dollars from a fifteen million dollar buy and that is absolutely outstanding that is a ginormous life-changing jackpot win today absolutely mind-blowing i was not expecting a humongous win like that at all i am shocked right now that is just amazing and on top of that crazy win we also won I believe it was 91 ounces of gold. Yeah, that's what it was. And all the gold dice combined ended up multiplying the gold by 25. 
and in total I ended up winning 2,275 ounces of gold today and the spot price of gold is like $2,020 an ounce that means we got an extra $4,595,500 in gold today that is absolutely marvelous and last but not least we got four of the Bitcoin so that's four entries into the free $100,000 buy-in giveaway so that is not bad not bad at all for a 15 million dollar buy-in so if y'all enjoyed today's episode be sure you hit that like button subscribe and turn on the post bell notifications way you get notified for whenever i upload a brand new video and also if you want to check out a whole entire playlist of my videos that will appear on the right side of the screen and if you want to check out yesterday's video the previous video that will appear on the left hand side of the screen and if you want to subscribe and visit my channel, you can click that button up at the top of the screen there. So I'll see y'all on the next episode. Y'all take care and have a magnificent day.